Thank you, Your Honor. The next matter before the court is Bell <coughs> hearing of Javier Flores, docket number 2015-583. Renee Bell and O'Donnell, for the record, the defendant is present via video conference. Tell me about the video conferencing. Tell me why it's important for the court system. It's important for two reasons. First and foremost, it's important for safety. Um, it, the lockup facility here is really inadequate. Um, we are short court officers. That's number two. Um, oftentimes, the defendant doesn't even get brought out when they've been transported here. So they're being transported for nothing. Um, so first and foremost, it's the safety issue. Second, it's a cost savings to the taxpayer. We're saving on transportation and moving bodies. Um, and anytime you move a prisoner from the jail here, it's cost money. Thirdly, the prisoners don't like it. Um, anytime that they are transported, it's a day away from the programs that they're involved with. Um, if it's an arraignment issue or a bail issue, oftentimes they're brought here um, in the event that the bail is set at a price, or I should say an amount, that they can post. Um, the theory is then they can get released from here. However, if they are not able to post bail here at that time, which very often, probably more often than not, is the case. They have to go back to the jail. They have to be strip, strip searched again, reprocessed. They often go to a different cell um, because all of their things have to be packed up and brought with them. Um, so they don't like it. Um, so those are the reasons, but, but first and foremost um, is safety. So do you think an attorney could provide the same defense for his client via video conferencing as he can standing next to his client? I do. Um, I know there are some attorneys that disagree with me. We have an area set up that is private so that an attorney can talk with his or her client in um, privacy so the confidentiality is preserved. Um, we have that area set up for uh, uh, telephone conversations. We can do it through video if we have to. And a an attorney can go out to the jail if he or she feels that that's necessary and stand by their client there. And so both the attorney and the defendant would be on video. Um, and the attorney could talk to the judge in, in that manner. Two of the most important times a client is in court is at their bail hearing, which is often their time, their arraignment, uh, or whenever the bail is scheduled, and trial. It's very important for them to be there and be present. It's important for them, it's important for their families. Well, by, by not having the client present, they're not there to hear uh, allegations against them. They're not able to hear some of the facts against them. They're not able to hear some of the arguments in person against them. Um, you're able to speak very quickly with your client.